When it comes to how old one looks, yes, the face does say it all, but let's not forget about the neck. The look of your neck skin can make you look far older than you really are. So if your neck is starting to look more like a raisin than that nice plump grape, this video is for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new and not familiar with who I am, I'm Chris Gibson, a skincare expert. I've been working in skincare for 36 years, helping people to find skincare that will work for them, not empty their wallet, and not do them more harm than good. So if that is the kind of content you've been looking for here on YouTube, I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. Now, when most of us think about skincare, we think about skincare for the face. We have skincare routines and skincare products out the wazoo for the face. But a lot of people neglect taking care of their neck and even their upper chest. Now, at 59 years old, my neck is in really good shape, but that's because I've been taking care of my skin for a very long time since I was in my early 20s. But these days, there's a new skin ager in town and it's called Tech Neck. And it's overuse of the muscles in the neck that ends up giving us these dynamic at first lines that come and go, but then they settle in and become static wrinkles. Even I have them and it's from using our devices, our smartphones and our computers way too much. Not to mention that that nice bright blue light that comes off of those has been shown to enhance skin aging. Now, since the neck area is one of the first places to show the signs of aging, there are a variety of products that can work to help with this. But it is more important to know what ingredients will actually work. Now, the skin on the neck is much thinner and therefore much more sensitive than a lot of other areas on the body. The skin on the neck also typically has less hair follicles, which makes it even more prone to show the signs of aging and collagen depletion as we get older. Now, that's especially true for the ladies because they don't have a lot of facial hair. Usually, guys do. We have those thick, coarse follicles that tend to help the skin stay in place. Also, stubble and beard growth does tend to protect those areas more from the damaging effects of the sun, just like having hair on the top of your head. But it's also true that men tend to have more photo aging on the back of the neck than ladies because of all those short haircuts that we wore all through the years. Now, as we all continue to age, there is a tendency to be more focused on the face. The skincare industry for years has been focused on the face, which is why we see some individuals with a nice youthful looking face, but their neck and chest doesn't match. So can you use some or all of the products that you use on your face on your neck? Well, yes, for the most part you can. A similar skincare routine to that that you would use on your face for your neck, chest, even your hands can go a really long way to making your skin look much healthier and youthful. And the really good news is it's never too late to start taking care of the skin on your body anywhere. So let's talk some skincare and what ingredients are best to use on the neck that can help with photo aging and rolling back that clock. And the first is going to be the application of topical antioxidants, namely a vitamin C serum or a vitamin C plus E and ferulic acid serum. That can be very helpful because antioxidants help stop the oxidation process in your cells, actually help speed up the replication of your skin cells, helping the cells to live longer and offsetting some of that DNA damage from sunlight. Now, there are a lot of vitamin C serums out on the market. Again, you want them to have very powerful ingredients. This is Vitabrid vitamin C12. It's a peptide complex that has vitamin C, very powerful, works very well. I've reviewed it on the channel several times. I will put a link to it and other products that I talk about for the neck area down below in the video description box. So you don't have to write all this stuff down. You can just pop down there when we're done here today. And speaking of the good old sun, sunscreen so important to protect your skin from the damaging effects of the sun and i know every day i get comments oh my god sunscreens they're bad for you they're poisonous what we're talking about here is protecting your skin cells from dna damage which is going to lead to photo aging the risk of skin cancer and premature aging of your skin Hands down, the only thing we have other than shading yourself with a piece of clothing is a solidly formulated SPF 30 or higher. Now, I agree and I feel that mineral sunscreens, which are the ones that sit on the surface of the skin, do a far better job of protecting the skin from the damaging effects of the sun and they're better for you and the environment. They should be a part of your daily routine going on last after all your other skincare products and they should be worn indoors because they help protect you from ultraviolet and that blue light that comes from our smart devices, laptops, 
and computers. Then there are the retinoids, and you know those as retinol all the way up to prescription strength retinoin or retin-A. Retinoids are the only topical that we have in skincare that is able to penetrate the skin as it converts into retinoic acid, which your skin uses to enhance collagen production, speed up cellular turnover, fade out dark spots, hyperpigmentation, and buff out fine lines and wrinkles. There just isn't another skincare product that can do all of that as powerfully as retinoids. The problem is you have to use a much lower strength on the area of the neck. Generally speaking, for the neck area, over-the-counter retinols tend to work better by applying them every other night to the neck. Or you can use what I use for this, which is a retinaldehyde. This is the one, my Naturium. And the reason retinaldehyde works so well for the other areas, thin skin areas of the body, like the neck, is because it doesn't go through that chemical conversion process that a typical retinoid would, instantly converting to retinoic acid. So it's well tolerated by your skin. For just about everyone who starts using a retinoid product on the skin, there is an acclimation period of dryness and sensitivity and we want to avoid that on the neck again that skin is very thin so retinol to hide like the one by Naturium is very good for this also there's very mild encapsulated retinols that you can get over the counter again I will list all of this stuff down in the video description box for you to check out when we're done the next area that is very helpful for skin on the neck and anti-aging is making sure the neck stays moisturized. That means using a moisturizer that has a powerful ingredient like hyaluronic acid, which can hold up a thousand times its weight as a molecule in moisture or polyglutamic acid. Now, polyglutamic acid is harder to find in products, although it is making its way in there, but either one of these ingredients is something to look for in any sort of product that you're gonna use as a moisturizing cream on the neck, because again, it will hold and pull in moisture throughout the day to the upper layers of the skin on your neck, making it look much smoother, more hydrated, plumper, firmer, and of course, a lot younger. Then there are the stem cell driven product formulations that we're starting to see for skin that are very, very powerful. These are typically made either from animal stem cells or plant stem cells, both versions providing powerful peptides and growth factors, which have been proven to enhance skin health and skin cell longevity, making your skin look much younger, longer. Now, usually I only recommend stem cell formulations to people in their late 30s, going into their 40s and forward as those signs on the neck begin to show up. However, there's nothing wrong with starting them at any time. When it comes comes to purchasing these, it's very important that you read the ingredient list to know what's in the product versus what it's being marketed to you for. And then there are the multitasking neck lifting creams. Almost all of us have seen ads for these. Strivectin has a very popular one that I've actually reviewed here on the channel. And almost every major skincare brand has some sort of neck cream or product. Again, it's important to look at the ingredients to make sure what's in them. And there are even specifically formulated neck creams for men. And one of the ones that I've been testing out is the one by Particle. It's their neck cream or men's formula neck cream. It's excellently formulated. It works extremely well. It's the cream that I'm actually applying right now after my retinaldehyde. And you can see it's doing a terrific job. So there are really good products out there. But as I always say on the channel, it's more about the effectiveness of the ingredients over brand name and price. Bottom line, just implementing a skincare routine for your neck can take many years off the look of skin and keep your skin healthy and youthful looking moving into the future. And for even more ways to roll back the clock on skin and body aging, be sure to check out this video that's coming up next. Thank you guys for watching today and supporting my channel. I always, always, always appreciate you. Stay beautiful, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you over on that next video.